Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and it's a lovely day to look again at another beautiful singer. And today we are looking at Dimash. I'm so sorry that I'm not going to speak in Russian today as we do have an international crowd when it comes to Dimash. So it's just fairly that we are speaking in English. Let me just say this one more time for the, for the Russian speaking people, yeah? Здравствуйте, мои дорогие друзья, я вас приветствую на моем канале. Извините, пожалуйста, но я сегодня не буду говорить по-русски, потому что если мы делаем реакцию на Димаш, это не только эм, люди из Казахстана и России смотрят, там тоже из Америки смотрят, и из Европы. Э, пожалуйста, извините, и другой раз я сделаю видео по-русски. Спасибо вам. Oh. We are reacting to the video and then later on we will speak a little bit again about music, uh, stage performance, uh, vocal technique, everything that has to do related to voice and performing arts. If you haven't by now, please subscribe to that channel. I am so happy because one of my students uh, done this year for me and thank you, thank you very much and I'm really, really excited that they put so much time for their teacher. So if you haven't by now, subscribe to the channel. And of course, I am on Instagram posting my pictures there as in singer, actress and a teacher and you can also see my students on Instagram. And we do have Facebook and I'm on Facebook there and I also have a fan page there. Um, so you can see me on Facebook. I'm also posting a lot of things on Facebook. Dimash, hello, and I hope that this video will be uh, will be online because of the copyrights. I'm still figuring out how to put uh, the singer online. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's get into it. So good. Hello, by Lana Richie. I haven't heard that song in a lot of time. Wow. Okay, I gotta make a stop for some copyright reason, not because I don't want to listen, because someone told me because of the copyright. But, but I have something to say. Intimacy mm, of the microphone, close there. So creating a very intimate um, sound to the microphone, to the audience. I love the flute. I guess it is a, a influence of the Kazakhstan music uh, with the beautiful flute. Very, very beautiful, very individual. Yeah, because as we know, Dimash comes from Kazakhstan and uh, he's bringing some origins of the music inside. I love it. It's very beautiful. We cannot forget that the sound engineers, the musicians there, the technicians, they are absolutely amazing. We always forget to speak about them as well. Yeah, so I love it. I was completely, I didn't, I didn't thought that it's Dimash sound because usually we know him as a vocal acrobat, but very nice. Very beautiful suit. And I want to tell you so much I love We have a little bit of vocal fry and a little bit of speech quality because it's not really singing Now it comes to the same Wow I feel the Wow. 
my dreams of kiss your lips a thousand times I sometimes see you best as I my talk wow hello is it me telling you the story. Very good. not Dimash if he's not singing in the end his big register yeah wow I really loved the high note in the end he is a he's the master of belting as well um, he's 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 a diva divo you would say maybe in Italy um, so I really love the high note in the end here you hear this wow that is a very very be beautiful Hello. Yeah. So uh, belting, uh, belting is a very, very strong, powerful tool that you can have because you are singing in a lot of uh, hertz. It's referred to a, like a screaming sound, or it's referred to a very strong noise that you can hear because it's in those in those frequencies, very, very high. Yeah, just for for the belting. I know a lot of people telling me in my comment section that they think that Dimash is a little bit on per, in, uh, that is that when he is singing it, it's always a little bit like on personal some of the comments are saying this um, 
Yes, he's a vocal acrobat. That is for sure. He's a master of, master of his voice. But I, I think this this hello version proved one thing that he is capable of transporting emotions. So I'm sorry if you didn't feel the emotion in the beginning of the song, then. I do felt it definitely, um, and I think it was differently from the things he's done because he really, really took his time to go into the end and then to sing, uh, sing those high scales. So he built the song, and usually Dimas is very fast forward, um, but this time he took his time to build that song. I think I love hello, but I think hello is like, ah, after some time you're already getting it's, it's hard to. Uh, visualize a different, different uh, sound interpretation, different vocal interpretation to that song, at least for me, yeah. So, um, wow, very beautiful. Um, and practicing, of course, the high classical soprano, soprano notes and the pop-ups that he's doing. I really, really enjoyed the Hello version this time. It was absolutely spectacular. So, yeah. Keep on coming with your suggestions and I hope you like uh, my reaction and small ana analysis and yeah, feel free of course to subscribe to my channel and I see you in my next video my dears and have a wonderful Sunday today.